Well, hello again, ghouls and goblins, and welcome to another bone chilling, spine tingling, mind blowing episode of the Black Hearts Club. Today's adventure takes us to Greenville Comic Con in Greenville, North Carolina. I think they have some horror memorabilia up here, some horror vendors, and all kinds of spooky stuff, as well as I think some scare actors and a guy that plays Jason, possibly. All kinds of spooky stuff for Halloween season that's coming up in only a matter of two and a half months. So we're gonna go inside and see what spookiness awaits. So join me if you dare. And here we go, here is Wonder Woman welcoming us to Greenville Comic Con. Looks like there's already already a creepy bunny rabbit over here is one of the first cosplayers we see. As well as this creepy skeleton statue over here. He's a little scary. Look at his nails. <laughs> Yikes! Have a good day. Oh no. Oh no. He's gonna get me. You're not gonna harm me, right? Not gonna harm me. Look, I got skulls all over my body. See all my skull tattoos? It's only a matter of time before I look like you. We're good, right? There we go. Okay, so we're inside Greenville Comic Con right now. The audio will probably be a little spotty because it's very noisy in here, so just bear with me on this video. Here's some old school Ben Cooper style mask. We got Frankenstein, the Crypt Keeper. That's pretty cool, the Crypt Keeper. Don't see that one a lot at all. And not sure who this guy is, but the Crypt Keeper mask is definitely pretty cool. Do not see that a lot. I found Jason. Camp Killer's right behind me. He's just chilling in the video. Say what's up, Jesse. Oh, oh wrong finger. <laughs> I wouldn't expect any less from Jason. So after we get the finger from Jason, let's make our way to the merch tables. Here's a Jeepers Creepers Creepers axe. I didn't even know this was a thing. I own one of the movie set daggers that went through the lamp, but uh, mine is actual movie memorabilia. That was Trick or Treat Studios. This is like Halloween decorations or Christmas decorations like the old paper cutouts of Krampus here. That's uh, very creepy. You could use it for either holiday decoration and then this is the guy's booth that I'm at right now if you want to hit him up. Slow down the video there and take a look at all that. There's a Lori Strode fan and mask for these hot sweltering summer days. As well as a lot of these bigger scale action figures. Like we've got Jason here. We've got the modern Pennywise. Our buddy Michael Myers here. I've got some of these figures. They're put out by NECA. And here's Alice Cooper. And over here it looks like there's a massive collection of latex style horror mask you see sam over there from trick-or-treat creature from the black lagoon oh there's the alien right beside frankenstein from they live obey 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 all kinds of definitely cool horror merch in this booth right here there's eddie from iron maiden a few different michael myers masks over there as well as killer clowns from outer space and then over here we've got an Annabelle doll. I definitely would not want to take that home. As well as the Creep from Creep Show and Beetlejuice. All kinds of cool stuff. Lots of Mego style horror figures here. Chucky Mego figure as well as behind Chucky here there's the Reptile from Hammer of course. The Reptile and then there's the Mummy from Hammer, not the Universal Mummy, as well as Van Helsing right here, as well as Victor Crowley from Hatchet. The detail on the Hatchet figure is very, very cool. And here's Elvira, of course, a big staple from 80s pop culture, as well as Teen Wolf, son of Frankenstein, not Frankenstein, but the son of Frankenstein. And beside him is the Mole People. And then I don't know who this guy is. Okay, this is Phantom of the Opera. I couldn't make it out there, sorry. Didn't look like the Phantom of the Opera that I'm familiar with for the most part, so it kind of threw me off there. Here's a glow-in-the-dark Halloween witch board. Never seen a glow-in-the-dark Ouija board before. That's a whole different spin on things. 
used to collect these a lot back in the day old school fangoria magazines as well as rue morgue and and horror hound as well as a freddy krueger nightmare on elm street comic book here and of course here's some of the the more kid-friendly horror figures, the NECA Toonie Terrors. I love that the They Live figure is just a male alien figure. Alf's somehow got mixed up into all of this as well. And the standard NECA Horror Elite Style Ultimate Edition figures, as well as Eddie from Iron Maiden. And look at this, House of a Thousand Corpses. Here's Dr. Satan, probably Rob Zombie's finest moment was his movie House of a Thousand Corpses. This one definitely surpassed any of his others. And these are actually made by Trick or Treat Studios. I'm assuming these are newer figures because I think the ones from about 20 years ago were possibly McFarlane or NECA figures. Not sure, but these are definitely pretty cool figures here of House of a Thousand Corpses. And just Giving an overall look, here's Jaws down here and a sign of Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, my favorite movie that says Santa Mirror, Welcome to Santa Mirror, home of Silver Shamrock Novelties. It's a wood sign. Definitely wouldn't mind hanging that on, on my wall, seeing that I'm a huge fan of that. And here's Gene Simmons from Kiss, as well as some species figures. And again, the big Alice Cooper trying to make our way over here to Jason aka the Camp Killers booth because he was nice enough to to try to give me the finger and be in my video so I would love to film some of his stuff he's got on display and for sale here before he decides to come and give me the finger or the machete again I'd rather have the finger overall than the machete because I really don't feel like having that losing battle I know it's a losing battle for me so we do have a actor here from the walking dead and Halloween kills and Halloween ends and under the dome I'm gonna try to see if I can talk to him briefly but his table is pretty full right now so I'm gonna try to maneuver myself in here and hopefully he will he'll make time for my my little YouTube video when he gets finishing of his conversation with these guests at his booth right now but you can definitely see some of the props from some of the stuff he's been in I'm gonna need somebody from the event center staff to come to the front desk. Somebody from the event center staff to come to the front desk. Thank you. Uh, how you doing, Brandon? Yeah, doing good, man. You doing all right? I'm good, man. Yeah, appreciate all your work, man. Yeah, man, appreciate it. Y'all here just taking it in today, huh? Yeah, just taking it in, man. Definitely wanted to swing by your booth because I'm a, a big fan of your work, man, and sure. wanted to say hello. If you don't mind me filming you and just saying hello. Hey, how's it going? All right, this is Brandon Hardison. He's from Walking Dead and Under the Dome and Halloween Kills and Halloween Ends. He's one of the the horror icons here today at Greenville Comic Con. <laughs> thank you. Yep, appreciate it, buddy. Uh, thank, thank you. Thank you. I'm not doing this we do have a t-shirt booth over here of like the old famous monster magazines. You see a lot of these t-shirts with, there's Herman Munster is like a tarot card is the fool. You do see a lot of the universal monsters and Michael Myers and Stranger Things. Here's the prices for the t-shirts here. Jaws, we're going to need a bigger boat. All kinds of cool stuff seeing all these old t-shirts here. There's a Creepshow t-shirt. I actually have a few Creepshow t-shirts in my horror movie t-shirt collection all kinds of cool stuff here it's definitely cool seeing the famous monster magazines depicted on t-shirts we have found a Leatherface CGC 9.4 graded comic book here and it is autographed by I'm not sure who's autographed this but it is certified you see the JSA certification on the back as well as here's some certified graded well i wouldn't say graded but certified artwork of pennywise you also have photo ops over here where you can get professional photos done right now it looks like captain spalding's cosplayer is finishing up and ghost face is getting ready to take his spotlight 
for his close-up here at uh, Greenville Comic Con. Let's see how Ghostface does with his, his close-up. And how ironic, how we end the day. Here's some zombified Star Wars merch. Looks like the Grogu finally finally got what was coming to him. He's been zombified now. The zombified Grogu as well as a Stormtrooper zombie. Okay, so that wraps up our time here at Greenville Comic Con. I tried to hit all the horror I could find. So if you like this video, how about give us that thumbs up. And if you haven't joined the club yet, how about smashing that subscribe button. And we're going to be doing all kinds of other fun stuff leading up to Halloween. This is just the tip of the iceberg, so to speak. Still plenty more Halloween hunts coming, Halloween attractions coming, haunted locations, all kinds of spooky content for all your spooky needs on the Black Hearts Club. So until next time, we'll see you on the dark side. Oh! <laughs>